Mark and John here. We're uh, eh, excuse all the bugs. It's a little buggy. It started raining. Now it stopped raining, and of course all the bugs showed up. But they're here to check out this incredible video. John, you know we've done the interview before with you with your uh, LR3, and yep. we'll put the link to that at the end of the video so you can see his other setup. And this is his new setup. And what are we going to show here? So this is uh, this is my Mission Overland Summit Series trailer. And this it's is a off-road trailer. It's a 2021. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So let's go ahead and take a quick walk around so you guys can check this out. So Mission Overland Summit trailer made in uh, Canada. And uh, overall length is about 17 feet from tip of the tongue to the tail. Uh, obviously, it's a pop top. So it gives about six foot four of clearance inside, which is great when you want to stand up inside something. It's a little bit different from a lot of the uh, teardrop or square drop type trailers in that regard, since it's a rear entry and, and pops. So um, 270 degree awning, which is made by Overland Vehicle Systems. Uh, super nice. Obviously, lots of coverage. And then uh, we got the propane and a full-size spare, matching spare on the front, which is where the trash is hooked up. So dual propane tanks, one on either side, 10 million bugs. In the first area up in front, we have the 7-liter Truma dual zone fridge and freezer which is uh, super cool. Right now I've got it set up just for, both zones are set up as a refrigerator, but the zone on the, the back side can be set up as a deep freeze if you want to use it that way. I believe that it goes down to negative nine are the possible settings. So that's strapped up inside there. And then in the next one over is the slide out Dometic stove and sink combination. Um, and then it's got space underneath. I've got just some simple gear under there right now. Some and I work on my storage solutions for that. I'm thinking some type of small boxes that can fit up underneath there and just kind of contain items. So when I'm going down going down trails it's not bouncing all over the place and dumping back into the uh, area behind the slide out and then it also has uh, right next to the slide out is the uh, the pump for uh, the the water system so it has uh, how many gallons of water 37 gallons 30 point. Yeah, so underneath is a 37-gallon holding tank of uh, fresh water. Um, and then you've got a uh, pump that pumps it to the Truma. Uh, it's a uh, dual purpose, so it, it's the, the heat and hot water. Uh, system. System. It, does this have a built-in shower on it? It does have a built-in shower on the other side. I'll be happy to show you that with here in a short second. With hot water. With hot water. Oh, nice. Hot water, baby. Gotta love it, right? And acrylic windows. Because talking's gonna be tough today, by the way, just in <laughs> case you haven't figured it out. <laughs> yeah, so you've got uh, you've got some acrylic pop-out windows. They also serve as an emergency exit. Um, they have been uh, they have been doing a lot of work with the uh, RV Association to try to uh, comply with a lot of their requirements for small trailers, which then allows them to push it out to dealerships maybe gives them some other benefits as well. So it gets, uh, gets categorized as an RV or a travel trailer. Uh, of course you've got the, uh, you got my favorite table, the tailgater tire solution, which is nice because when you pull out that it's, it's a tight working area, but you saw that I can, I can have this out. I can have stuff here, stuff here. It's it makes for nice makes for a nice solution when you're um, working on working on meal prep and stuff like that. So everything's pretty convenient, all located in one area. Um, as you move around to the back, 
obviously let's uh stabilizers yeah your stabilizers let's see what you have on the front here actually too with because that was a really large compartment you had a, right behind that spare tire yeah so dual propane full-size spare and then on the other side is um 12 volt battery this is uh this is getting changed out here in the next month or so i'm putting a pair of solar panels up on top a couple hundred watt solar panels on top go to a dual battery system and then do the uh, victron um, solar controller i haven't really for what i've had it for now what two weeks three weeks i brought it back from colorado i was back two weeks ago I've been like here we are without any kind of power source. I've had no problems. I can run the heat, I can run the refrigerator, I can run the lights, and it's still plenty of power for all day long. So that's been, that's worked out good, but I'd like it to be more robust. So Next. that is uh, definitely one of the things that's coming up very soon. So there'll be a second battery put in there. And then I just got to sort of sort out what I want to do. If there's some kind of storage above I can do, don't know yet. Obviously there's storage on top, um, places, plenty of places to rack, you know, whether it's max tracks, tools, whatever up here, setting stuff in here, strapping it down. Uh, it's a nice area. Be conscious of your tongue weight always. <laughs> and then next to that, You've got uh, the back side of the slide out. This is the Truma uh, dual system, which uh, so it's pushing air into through three different vents into the uh, cabin, and then it also heats the water for the shower. And the shower is really it's a simple. I don't have any water in here right now. But it's really just a simple system it goes in and then you just adjust what temperature you want it and then push to spray so um, i've also got a uh, quick pitch which i didn't bring along i thought i was going to bring it along and maybe set it up get it attached but weather being what it is i've got a quick pitch shower room slash uh, you could use it for a preview if you had to uh, that will go up here on the side. There's a really neat design a guy did. He's got the same trailer and what he because of where the uh, tire is He took a uh, $40 TV mount that extends out and hung the quick pitch to that so it pulls it out away from the side of the trailer Still gives you plenty of room to reach that but now you can just set stuff on here and you don't have Here's your your hot air exhaust. It's not pushing up against that. It's not getting in the way of anything. So that's really slick. Time to go to Target or Walmart and buy a inexpensive TV bracket for mounting on the wall. So it's a, it's a slick solution. Yeah, it was a neat idea. So I'll do that. That'll be fun. So that'll come up here pretty soon too. And um, while we're here on this side, can you just talk a? <laughs> You're getting assaulted, man. Yes, you are. Yep. Uh, just uh, your suspension on the on the on the axle setup here. So it's the it's the Timberin uh, independent suspension. It's thirty five hundred pound Timberin thirty five hundred pound. Um, all right, now it's running two sixty five sixty five seventy seventeens. A little bit smaller than what I run on my truck. I run two seventy five seventy eighteens on the truck. My other truck, it's. Uh, similarly sized but it really tracks nice it's uh i haven't noticed any real problems with that i don't know if i'll i've got some uh bfg ko2s i don't know if i'll i'll look for an 18 inch solution but right now i'm really satisfied i mean it's just it's a nice tire it's it's done well i've already taken it into some muddy and dirty places and it did what it was supposed to do and i'm really happy with that tracks really nice behind the truck love it
Now, I noticed also you know, the leveling jacks. As soon as you got here, you got those all yep. set up, and I thought that was pretty nice since it's a really simple yep. on off and removable. Now, where do you keep those? I didn't notice where you pulled those um, out of when so you. So I pulled them out of my truck. I okay. think that probably it's one of those things that uh, I've got some straps. I just tie all three together, and um, I can set them in the back. I can set them in the back of my truck. I could put them on top of my truck. I don't think it really matters. I haven't. There's a few items that I'm I'm still unsure about obviously you know i want to change solar you know I want to add solar i want to change some of the electronics in here a little bit um there's little things that i think you know overall the the, the trailers are really beautiful rig but there's like just a couple little things that i know for me will make things a little bit easier so now before we go inside just uh what is the construction of this trailer we didn't you didn't mention that uh so it's uh aluminum and uh composite okay um yeah it's a pretty beefy trailer i mean they were they've done a good job of designing it uh they brought a lot of design expertise from other models of off-road trailers and uh they just you know made a fundamental change i mean just this rear door alone is is pretty significant change in my opinion well, let's yeah let's definitely check that out while we're um opening that up can you just tell me what was the weight on this I believe it's right around 1800. Okay, and we'll put that in there. Yeah. To to confirm that is really pretty amazing how that just opened up. So, it's a very simple rear entry. You get your step that comes in probably in a situation like this where we're so significantly uh lower in the nose, wouldn't hurt to have another little step to get up in, but for me it's it's perfect. And really the biggest thing about these is compared to other square drops and, and uh, teardrops is that I can stand up. I'm six foot two. I can stand up completely inside here with the door closed. Bed made. I can stand right here at the end and change and whatever else. And it's, I mean, obviously it's got the little dinette thing, um, which is nice. It's a nice place in the morning to just get all my, my morning coffee going and I can stuff all my all my gear up to the front of the nose and yeah it works out really well and then lots of storage nice aircraft type locking the panel over here for uh, lighting exterior lighting fresh pump um, interior lighting obviously a voltage meter you know cut it out and it's I mean it's sat all night at 12.3, 12.2 with the lights off, with the heater running, the refrigerator on. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, it stays there. And then, of course, it, you can plug it into shore power. Uh, so it's a 30 amp shore power, which has worked great the few times that I've had to use it. Of course, leaving it at home always works out real good as well, too. So. And then it's got the uh, Max Air Max Air vent on top. With uh, it has a remote as well as just a push button, which just automatically opens it up. Vents. You can change the direction so you can pull air in, pull air out. These actually it's Velcro, so you can pull these open, get your screen out. And uh, they also have covers, so at nighttime you can completely, with the exception of the vent on top, you can just kind of darken that up. So that that's really nice and helps keep it insulated. I mean, heat-wise, this thing heats up like in a hot second. Um, obviously, not a very large area to try to heat, and it holds the heat really well. I've been really pleased with that. And coming from Colorado, it was. Yeah, it was a little chilly the first couple nights as I got further east to get a little bit warmer but yeah it's been it holds the heat really nice and it's a comfortable sleep all night long so I use uh, an XPED XL uh, air mattress I like to sleep on a firm mattress these are a little bit squishy yeah, I let's think. uh yeah. Let me uh, let me hop out yeah. and you hop in here and you can just give a quick rundown on uh, what you why you chose this and uh, a little bit more about what your decisions were for going this route. Sure. 
So I did, um, I've done a lot of research. I've been looking at trailers for about a year and a half. I've obviously I had the, the rooftop tent. I have a, a cot tent that I use with my truck when I'm just kind of camping solo rooftop tent between me and dog was just getting difficult. Um, I'm getting older, a little heavier. <clears throat> and, uh, so I was looking for a pullable option where I could leave a trailer behind, not have to worry about setting gear up, setting gear down, can drop it, go explore, come back, have base camp already set up. So that's, that's sort of been my, my vision for a while now. It's hard to find these trailers though. There's, you know, there's a lot of trailers, good manufacturers out there that are making trailers, but especially with all the Rona stuff, um, they just became more and more popular and people are, you know, snatching them up as soon as they come available. So this was one of the very first trailers I looked at. I looked at a number in between. Um, I thought I was going to buy a few on the way. Of course, one reason or another, that always seemed to change. Call up the way my luck is. And then just one day I happened to just do a Google search and I knew this trailer, and this is just one of the names I popped up. And of course, they had just done a delivery to a dealership like the day before. And I just was fortunate enough to get one in the color I would have wanted. Um, the Some of the things you had line. mentioned about this layout that you really like. And yep. besides just the layout, can you just talk briefly? You've just gotten this, so I'm sure there's a lot of things you're still learning to either love yeah. or hate. But, you know, for the most part... You mentioned about the bed this, and being able to stand up. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, this right here is, you know, here I have, I have a work service, I have a, a, a eating service. There can be, you know, two or three of us probably sitting at a table like this. This table will move in, out, whatever. So you can be inside, out of the elements. This was one of the big things that I really like. There's uh, a couple other, uh, there's other, like one other trailer that has really this kind of dedicated interior space. Once you convert this even to a bed though, like from here, I'm, I'm there and I'm, you know, six, two, there's, I can stand all the way here and I've still got a couple inches even above my head. So I can comfortably change. I can comfortably make my bed with door closed, heat going, you know, interior lights on, just enjoy myself. Um, and making this all work as a bed is is hardly any work at all so it's it's very convenient and then it's convenient to push it all away and then i've got a place in the morning to get ready drink coffee relax so you know it's that's enjoyable as well um yeah this is just it even though this dimensionally it's probably not much different from a lot of the square backs or teardrops overall dimension wise the use of the space you know there's probably a sacrifice made for some storage but there's storage under here um you know there's there's plenty of storage in here depending on how you want to use it and i'm i'm struggling anyway with like how much storage am i actually going to take stuff am i going to take out of my truck that's still my my primary means of getting around, I still want to keep enough stuff there. It becomes a kind of a, do I be redundant or do I just keep what I need in here to survive and keep everything else in my truck? I'm and, still kind of working through that myself. So. And those who don't know, John does an extreme amount of uh, overlanding and any chance he you know, has to find a Camping dirt in a truck. Yeah, find a <laughs> dirt trail and dirt road. He's taking it. So that's his lifestyle. And, and this really allows him to get somewhere, maybe set up camp and get out and find those trails to go out yeah. just driving around. And that's one of the things you had mentioned to me that you really meant something along with just the ease and comfort level too, yeah. not being able to have to crawl up on top of the truck to get into the tent. This is so much more comfortable. I mean, this is, you know, just the, the quality of sleep every night, being able to just let, you know, even is with the stabilizers. I mean, simple things like that, just being able to quickly stay, level out the truck in uneven terrain. It doesn't, it doesn't take anything to do it and get it set up and stable. And you're like, Hey, golden, you know, pop the top, pop the awning or not. Um, 
and you have a lot of livable space. And one of the things I'm looking forward to is I've got uh, I've got the uh, sidewalls coming eventually, and that space outside, you know, just grows. I mean, you know, here it's just you know everything can be enclosed, and it's just this is a lot of this is a lot of living space, especially if my daughters are with me or my wife is with me, and. You know, the weather's a little bit inclement like it is right now. It's winter time. You can have it down, can have a little little heat source going in here, can cook undercover, can, you know, get everything undercover, can stay undercover if you want, and still have the ability to just go jump in the truck and go explore some trails. So, yeah, it's very, very, very convenient. I'm very pleased with this. Very pleased with this. I really like this. And, the graphics are cool. The trailer looks cool. It's an attention getter everywhere. You know, there's not that many of them. I, you know, I'm probably wrong in saying that they've, I thought I read somewhere that they'd only produced about 70, 75 so far. I'm probably wrong because I know that they've, they've upped their game quite a bit here lately uh, with the demand. I mean, I'm sure it's more than that, but it's still in the grand scheme of things. If there's 200 of these in America or in, you know, in the world, that's not a lot. And one of the, one of the things that I was mentioning, I noticed, you know, cause we've been working on our expedition build and my appreciation and, and just sitting here with John inside just the rounded corners, the workmanship, the quality, uh, yeah. you just heard that door shut. I mean, that sounds like a car that is, that's solid. Just the attention to detail, everything from, you know, the table inside uh, you know, you can, this video is really not going to show the overall quality of the fit and finish, but there's a reason that this this camper here is price point where it is, and um, you know you're getting you're getting what you're paying for with this. I mean, it's it, it's hard to explain, but you know, just like this roof, uh, you know, awning system. I mean, that is some serious aluminum structures that they've it created is. there for this awning and. Um, you know, the company that's obviously producing that, that's top notch. I mean, you don't even have to have the poles down. You didn't have the poles down last night. Nope. And it's it's a really rigid system. Just wanted to dry it out. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rain. Yeah, no, I mean, and, you know, probably uh, uh, to the to the credit of the company, I've been talking to the owner for, or one of the owners for the last year and a half. I mean, very responsive and just answering questions from a non-owner. And since I've been an owner, I mean, I, any question I have, it's near instantaneous. I can send a text message or send a, you know, a, a messenger and I mean, they're responding pretty quick. It's, it's, it's just very responsible. That kind of attention from a company that's still growing, um, it'll probably be to their detriment someday that they, they spend that much time talking to their customers. But, you know, at the same time, that's the kind of level of care when you make this investment that you want. So when you have a stupid question about, well, wait a minute, uh, how come, and they answer you, you know, it's, it's great. So I thought I had a problem with, uh, the seven, the seven pin system hooking up to my truck because I was getting like this flickering and I'm like, well, I don't know what that is. And I, and they couldn't answer the question at the dealership when I picked it up. Um, and so I asked one of the owners and they were like, yeah, open up the seven pin connector box and just send me a picture. Let me look at it, you know, just to confirm that it's not something on our side. Now I've since proven that it's my truck. My truck has got some uh, interesting electrical work at times and uh, it's got a couple gremlins and, so I got to work that out, but yeah, it was, you know, it's that type of, I'm in, I'm in the middle of Oklahoma asking these questions while I'm running down the Trans-American Trail and towing this beauty behind it, trying to get it as dirty as possible on day one of ownership. Um, yeah. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to, uh, you know, show us your Mission Overland camper. Yep. And uh, this is really just, uh, just amazing. And just the space inside and in closing, uh, you know, one of the things that you got quite often with your rig and this setup going down the road, what was it everybody kept asking you with all those antennas? <laughs> Am I a storm chaser? Are you a storm chaser? No, not a storm chaser. I, so, just, I just play one on TV. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Any, any last thoughts, John, that you want to share? 
Yeah, if you if you have, you know, these trailers are expensive. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, if you don't have, like me, you don't have the ability to do like you're doing and build something, just don't have the skills, just don't have the uh, the means to do it, the tools required. Um, well, but I also... These are becoming a great solution for a lot of people that are, you know, getting a little bit older maybe or have a few more people and want multiple abilities these are these are great solutions i i really like this trailer do your research figure out what's the right one for you though you know and not everything this isn't right for everybody you know there's some very simple trailers or very expensive trailers you just have to find what's right for you and if, if this small trailer is what you need you know take a look at all of them take your time decide what's important so, more and i think that's key you know, uh, making an investment, no matter what it is or how much it is, it has to match your lifestyle and your needs. And that's one thing that you were back and forth. And that's why you chose to go this route, because this is your lifestyle. This is what you do. Yeah. This is what you dedicated your your spare time to really uh, put into. And, you know, how do you put a price tag on 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 the quality of life when you're you want to enjoy that time? I'm an old retired guy and this is what I do. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for putting up with the bugs. And uh, once again, this video, we really appreciate all your help. No problem. Thank you for uh, thank you for letting me show it off. So if you guys have any comments, please put those below. If you've enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and take some time if you uh, if you could and maybe subscribe to our channel. All right. Well, thank you again. And you want to go get some more coffee? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go.